Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number six in the Access Control Vulnerabilities module titled Method-Based Access Control Can Be Circumvented. All right, let's get started. This lab implements access controls based partly on the HTTP method of requests. You can familiarize yourself with the admin panel by logging in using the credentials administrator admin. To solve the lab, log in using the credentials of this user over here and exploit the flawed access controls to promote yourself to become an administrator. All right, so the target goal of the exercise is to exploit a broken access control vulnerability in order to promote the user that we were given, so the regular user, to become an administrator. And the way that we're going to do that is first we're going to log in using the administrator account and learn how the functionality that promotes a user works. And then after we learn how that functionality works, we're going to try and exploit it from our regular user account. Okay, let's access the lab. And while that loads up, you could see over here that this browser is the built-in browser in Burp and therefore we don't have to configure it to send requests to Burp because it's done by default. So all my requests should be in the HTTP history tab over here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is log in with the admin account and see how that functionality functions. So administrator, and I believe the password was admin. Okay, so we're logged into the administrator account. If we click on admin panel, you could see that there's a functionality to upgrade or promote a user into an administrator user. You could also downgrade a user. So let's try and upgrade our Carlos user because this is the user that we were given and I don't want to mess with it right now. So let's upgrade our Carlos user. Click upgrade and here we go. This is the request that is being performed. It's a post request. Let's send this to repeater and look at it. So over here, the endpoint is slash admin roles. And if we go down, it takes in the username of the user and the action that they want to perform. So upgrade is to promote the user. And I'm guessing if we click on downgrade, it'll downgrade the user to a regular user privilege. All right. And it's a post request right over here. Okay. So this looks good. Now we understand how it functions. So let's log out and log in with the regular account privileges that we were given and then try to see if there's any access control vulnerabilities to promote our user to an administrator user. So hit my account and then log in with the account that we were given. So the password was Peter, hit log in. Now notice over here for our account, we don't see an admin panel because we don't have the privileges of an admin user. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at my account. So if we click on my account right over here, you could see that this is uh, the ID right over here of the user. Let's assume we tested this parameter and it's not vulnerable to uh, any access control vulnerabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the session ID of this user and try to perform this request using the session ID of my regular privileged user. So if I put it right in here, hit send, and here we go. It says it's unauthorized. So this user who has regular privileges does not have the ability to promote a user to an admin user, which makes sense. But if this is implemented incorrectly and the access control is only implemented on the type of method, so let's say the post method, but it's not implemented on the get method and the get method is allowed, then we might have a broken access control vulnerability. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to say change request method. So now it's a get method and the parameters are in the URL. We're going to change this to the account that we're currently working with. So I want to promote my user to an admin user and I'm going to hit send and see what I get. And here we go. We get a 302. So just because we didn't get an unauthorized, that's already a good sign. And then if we follow redirection, it's a 200 OK. And you could see over here, it says, congratulations, you solved the lab. If we refresh the page, we should see the admin panel because we've promoted ourselves to an admin user. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by manually exploiting the broken access control vulnerability. Now let's script it in Python.
If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.